Oh, my hair too much to do. <laughs> Welcome to Noobs in Progress. <laughs> my name is Nathan, and here with me I have... Ethan Murphy's question mark friend. Wait, <laughs> Ethan Murphy... <laughs> Wow, dude! Nathan, you're two for two. I, I, I am over two, over two. It's over because two, you yeah. keep throwing, yeah, yeah. you keep throwing these massive curveballs underhanded <laughs> uh, in the rain and beating me in the face. And it's like I can't, I can't hit him. I can't hit him. This is Nathan Beatty's friend, Ethan Murphy. Uh, I, 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 I'm bad. I'm bad for the first time ever. Nate broke me. I, I'm bad. I'm always good. I'm always good. And now I'm bad. Well done. Happy oh Halloween. Go fuck yourself. <laughs> Ethan, what the hell is that? Anyway. Um, so <laughs> now, and now the show starts. Okay. Um, so and yeah, that's essentially starts. what I did to Ethan right there. Uh, I do apologize. <laughs> no, no, he doesn't. No, he doesn't. He doesn't apologize at all. He's been plotting it for so long. His plan I, was I had my fingers flawlessly. crossed. Yes. Yes. Uh, uh, so. well, well, Nate, well, in fair, in all fairness, how were you? I, I'm doing better. I'm doing better. I'm I'm even better Good. than I was before. Just it's ooh, it's it's uh, I'm, because because <laughs> we just spent some time talking about a movie and we're about to talk about another one, which I'm really excited about because this is one of my all time favorite Halloween crash slash Christmas movies. Um, so, Ethan, would you like to tell everyone what the movie we will be watching for next week? Of course. Uh, this is actually a movie that I am a noob on. It's a movie that I, everyone has their blind spots. For whatever reason, there was a couple of uh, Tim Curry either produced or associated stop motion movies I didn't see. There, were, there was Corpse Bride, Frankenweenie, mm -hmm. and uh, the biggest one, of course, is Nightmare Before Christmas. Mm -hmm. And uh, in honor of our Halloween extravaganza, we thought it'd be all the best time to watch this movie for this show would be, of course, around Halloween. Yep. So, uh, Nate, you are the expert on this. I will, I will defer to you for the uh, yes. Prequel. So I have to. Um, I am. It is my job to do. Oh, this is so. This happens so rarely. Um, it does. It does. Um, so yeah. So this this film. Uh, yeah. This I I love this film, and so I'm going to do the. <sighs> Make me say it. You gotta say it. You gotta say it. No, that, that's it's part of the deal. You have to say it out loud. The prequital questionnaire. Um, <laughs> you licked your lips before you said it too. That's the best part. You licked your lips and salivated at it all. Yes, you did. Anyway, um, so uh, so uh, I'm going to do the the questionnaire, uh, the questionnaire in question. Uh, so no, question uh, <laughs> number one: Have you heard of the film? Of course, I have. I, I have heard of The Nightmare Before Christmas, and uh, I, I, I actually like the title. It's actually very, very, very good title. Nightmare Before Christmas is kind of a brilliant mm -hmm. idea. So, mm -hmm. Awesome. All right, so uh, question number two. What have you heard about the film? Almost exclusively good things, really. Mm -hmm. um, for one thing, I live out in L.A. now, as I mentioned before, and they have the whole... There's a couple of different things. The Universal has their Night of Horror, or I guess the Week of Horror, whatever it is. Uh, last, this is last year, 2019. And I saw a couple of those different things they were doing. But also over at Disney World, the, Disneyland, I'm sorry, Disneyland, mm -hmm. they have their thing as well. And they mm -hmm. have a lot of different things involving Jack Skellington and mm -hmm. a lot of the folks from Nightmare Before Christmas. And this movie came out, it was the 90s, right? Yes. Yes, came out in the 90s. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So for it still to be relevant enough for people to be cosplaying as these characters, that was a, a good thing. Mm -hmm. yeah. Why haven't you seen it? The, I, I think what it was was just that it was at a weird age where I was like, because uh, I'm not sure what the exact year this movie came out was, but I was in the upper ages of high school, I believe, and I kind of wasn't watching what I called mm -hmm. quote unquote kids movies as much. That mm -hmm. was my only, the only rationale I can come up with as to why I didn't mm -hmm. see it earlier. And I just uh, kinda, fact just check. It actually came out in 93. So 93. It was, yeah. Yeah. So. And I should have, and I should have, but I was definitely young enough for that. I was only 12. Yeah. So I'm not sure why, I, why it just didn't, it didn't catch my fancy. I, mm -hmm. I may have just been kind of out of the whole 
singing movie phases. I suppose I'm into it. I don't know, but I just didn't. That makes it well. Yeah, that like that that was around the time. Like I know uh, the reason I saw it was because I was a like I was an animation nut. Like I I loved yeah. all kinds of animation and stop motion always really interested me. Interested me so. So even though it might have hit at a time where it, I might have been technically a little too old to see it, <laughs> I was like, must see animation that looks amazing, you know, so. Right. So no, that makes that. perfect sense. I mean, I, I, I think you are in the right. <laughs> I should have. <laughs> yeah, I should have seen it. I should have seen yes. it then. Are, are, oh, let's hit the wrong button. Are you a fan of the genre? So I guess that. Wow. Animation. So. Yeah, wildly yeah. so. Especially mm -hmm. uh, stop motion. Like I know this is this studio is not Leica. But Leica mm -hmm. is the kind of more prominent one now that they did like Kubo with two strings or Paragon or what have you. Uh, I love stop motion animation. It's a very impressive art form, which is overwhelmingly time consuming. Mm -hmm. uh, so I'm all I'm just so impressed by it that I love it. Um, mm -hmm. And I have seen Frickin' Weenie and, and Corpse Bride since. Mm -hmm. But uh, so, yeah, I, I, I do love this genre. I love animation. And I love stop motion animation. Awesome. Awesome. Are you a fan of the franchise? I'm. I'm. Uh, that's that's a that's an interesting. I don't. I don't know what franchise this would be considered. We could do either Burton. I am a fan of Tim Burton. Well, oh, classic that. Tim Burton. Classic mm -hmm. Tim Burton. Because uh, he. Uh, they, now, did he? You can correct me. Was he the producer on this? The director. He was on the producer. Was he, yeah, producer. He, he okay. didn't direct it. Um, right. Let me see. Who was the director? Uh, uh, give me nightmare. Let me let's. I want to he, find out the director because I always feel bad because he always gets short. Shrift. I do too. Yeah, Henry Selleck fair. was the director. Henry Selleck. Okay, I'm not mm -hmm. sure if I've seen any, any Henry Selleck stuff. But uh, as far as Tim Burton goes, Tim Burton kind of made a genre in and of itself, kind of that oh, dark yeah. fantasy genre with the uh, obviously Tim Burton's uh, Batman, the original Batman, 1989, and even like you know Edward Scissorhands or uh, Sleepy Hollow, which is what he his take on that classic yes. story. So those kind of movies, his his been on things i usually am a fan of i wasn't a fan of charlie in the chocolate factory which he did with, with the giant dip Oof, no not well, most of his... were. well there, there there are some but i i'm there are always some i'm i'm willie all the way i'm yeah I'm, <laughs> yeah i want that written down and shown to your kids when they're older <laughs> just just see what questions come to mind uh but i'm with you i, I gene, gene well i would say i'm gene wilder all the way. Oh yeah, uh, yeah, I, yeah. Uh, oh god, the the <laughs> uh, <laughs> the just just the way that he Gene Wilder just like like these children are disappearing left and right, and he's the whimsy. I I just loved it. Anyway, <gasps> um, no, he's he's in our previous show, for the previous episode, we're talking about Tim Curry and how he did a role that seemed irreplaceable. I feel very very similarly about Gene Wilder as with yeah. Wonka. Yeah. Yes, there are other people that could, that could play Willy Wonka, but there is a dark whimsy, like you mentioned, mm -hmm. with Gene Wilder's portrayal that is kind of irreplaceable. You yeah, know? so I'm right there with you. Yeah, I think I think the biggest complaint I had about the Johnny Depp version of Willy Wonka was that he seemed afraid of the children, like 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 they yeah. they, they they like grossed him out, and he was like, Ugh. and I was like, right. no, Gene Wilder. Like, or not Gene, Gene Wilder. That's how much I love Willy Wonka. As it? it's Gene yeah, it's Wilder. Same, same difference. Um, same but, but anyway, so that's a different movie. We're, we're that's enough. We, we, we'll, hopefully, we get to that somehow. I don't know, yes, I don't know how yes. we'll figure, figure out how to get to there. We'll get amnesia we'll, or something, but yeah. We'll get there eventually. But now, uh, next question What are you hoping to see? Oof, good question. So, I'm hoping to see what makes Jack Skellington so charming. Like what the appeal of this character is, because okay. he is kind of a bizarre looking kind of a character. I get the idea that he's a animated stop motion thing, but he's his his fan base is very, very devoted. I think and Sally, people love him and mm -hmm. Sally. Mm -hmm. So, so I really want to see. And what's that other guy? The, the bad guy, the bug, 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 Oh, um, bug, uh, Oogie Boogie, Oogie Boogie, Oogie Boogie. Mm -hmm. Those three. I want to see what it is about those three that's so appealing. Mm -hmm. Okay, that that makes sense. That makes sense, and I'm trying really hard not to answer you right now. Yeah, I, um, you I can see <laughs> I can see the veins popping in your I'm throat. Like, <laughs> no, I'm taking a shit. Anyway, um, okay, <laughs> that, so that's better. <laughs> <laughs> oh God. Okay, so next question: What are you afraid to see? Huh? 
I'm afraid to see, honestly, <laughs> I'm afraid to see a, like a cameo from Johnny Depp or something. It's like, no. Because <laughs> in Tim Burton classic movies, uh, proper, I guess Tim Burton proper movies, it uh-huh. seems like Johnny Depp always pops up in there somewhere mm-hmm. out of dark, dark shadows or whatever. It's like, it's okay. All right, we get it. So my, <laughs> my biggest fear is to see is even a cameo from Johnny Depp uh-huh. in this movie. Okay. Still taking the shit. Anyway. Um, so. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God. Somebody just randomly dropped in on that comment. Anyway. Yeah, yeah, um, yeah, they did. Yeah, they did. All right. So final question. Do you think you will like this movie? I do. I definitely do. I, mm-hmm. I, I'm, I'm, only, I'm, I don't know why I still hadn't seen it till today. You know, I'm still haven't seen it, uh, mm-hmm. but I am genuinely looking forward to seeing it. Um, and I think on the, at the very least, I will enjoy the stop motion animation mm-hmm. in it. Be impressed mm-hmm. by that. Yeah. It like, it's, it, it's one of those things where it's like, I've, cause this movie, like, this is how much I, uh, I'll say this much because this is something that a lot of people will say about this movie. Sure. Um, it was a movie that like, I, I, I saw it. I remember when I saw it, I remember really liking it. And it was one of those movies that like, you know how you have some movies that just randomly make it into your regular rotation of movies that you watch every of year. Of course. Of course. And this that happened with and it, and it was it was seamless. It was almost like the next year when it was out on video. Yeah, of course, I'm getting that movie when it comes out on DVD. Yes, I'm going to watch it every year, you know, a 50 million times between Halloween and, and Christmas. Um, and yeah. and yeah, in fact, in fact, we it, it was so funny that. Um, uh, so for a little a little bit of background things for the audience, um, Ethan and I were talking about scheduling for the upcoming, you know, because we record these ahead of time and we realized that we were coming up on Halloween and we might miss it if we didn't throw in some Halloween movies. And so we both at the same time had the same thought to like, Oh, we, we need to do Halloween movies. And I went with Rocky horror picture show. Cause I hadn't seen it. And he went with nightmare before Christmas. But what was hilarious was the day before we had that chat conversation where we were like, Rocky horror nightmare. I had just introduced my kids to nightmare before Christmas. Oh, you did. Okay. And like, and it was funny because my daughter was like, this is amazing. And my son was like, this is terrifying and amazing. Yeah. Um, <laughs> yeah. It seems, like, it, seems like, it, seems like might, it seems like it might be scary for kids, but they, they, they liked it. Okay. Uh, yeah. It's well, it's, I think it's the, I think it's the whimsy of it. And, and, and I think, and I'll, you know, I won't say more than that, but, but it's one of those, it's just one of those films that just, it just stuck with me and I just love it. And um, I'm really anxious to see what you think about it next week. Um, I'm, I'm looking forward to it. I'm definitely looking forward to it. Cause also yeah. one thing that's c- curious too, is how it's not actually a Disney proper movie, right? It was a kind of like a kind of acquired post ad post fact post, you know. Um, yeah, I honestly can't statement. remember. I can't remember who the production company was. Let me see if I can find the production company. Yeah, um, it, it was runs not in my, produced by it renders in my mind that it hold on. Release date in October box office. Production of a touchdown. Yeah, so it was Disney. Um, that's right. So yeah, they're uh, they're subsidiary. Yeah, they uh, yeah they they put it under it, and I and what my mind was thinking, and I needed to verify before I said it. They recognized that it was like you said. It's it's kind of spooky, and and also it was a bit of a risk too. So they and Disney yeah. is very protective of their brand. Extremely. So, yeah, so they put it out on the Touchstone label because they right. didn't. They were afraid that if they put it out under the Disney label and it bombed or it scared the bejesus out of scared all children, yeah, yeah, it would have been bad. So um, well, now also they're ninety three, but yeah, yeah, now they're different. But ninety three, okay. while they more concerned, I mean, that's so that's this is also the time when Batman and Batman the animated series couldn't even throw a punch at someone's face. That's how yeah. strong the sensors were. So yeah, yeah I, I can't imagine. I know there are some things I do understand. Like Oogie Boogie is kind of obviously composed of like bugs or something whatever it is so mm-hmm. I, I can definitely see daisy be like oh no that's too much that's way too much of the envelope pushing yeah. there for us at the time yeah. yeah and and but but like i said now they're like because it's you mentioned halloween um so last year we went to disney world and um uh for for halloween because uh my son's birthday is right after halloween so we went for his birthday and while we were there we went for the mickey's not so scary halloween um, we, that's what, that's it's called, what call. is it called that? That's is, what it's called. Okay. It's called M- M- Mickey's okay. not so scary. Halloween party is what it's called. And we actually went on the last night. The last night was like November 2nd, I think this year. And so we went 
And you want to talk about bizarre. We went on that night and it was still like everything was, you know, Halloween all over the place. Mickey pumpkins everywhere. The eyes can see you had Jack Skellington walking everywhere. Sally, Oogie Boogie, the whole nine. And it was fantastic. The next we, we, we went somewhere else, I think on the third and we came back on the fourth. So we're talking <laughs> literally barely 24 hours and it was right. Christmas. Everything was Christmas, yeah. Christmas tree. Like they had that, like, thousand foot christmas tree it was bananas um but yes yeah. but yeah they have uh, they, they Jack, move, yeah they move, they move i mean seasons move quickly there yeah oh yes uh but yeah it, but they, they they definitely i mean disney definitely loves and embraces you know uh number for christmas to the mm-hmm. nth degree now i have no idea oh, yeah. when they made it okay for it to be mm-hmm. part of the disney proper universe or even have like where sally I don't think Sally's considered a quote unquote technically a Disney princess, but she's kind mm-hmm. of almost in that gray area. In yeah. A way. Yeah. So, yeah, I think, I think it probably happened in the late nineties, early two thousands when it got like it, cause that's when it really started to get that status of, of like, uh, where, where it was becoming obvious that, Oh, this people are still buying this a whole lot at Halloween and Christmas time. Right. And also, like Disney kind of saw saw a really awesome thing in this movie because Cash this, out, yeah. Yeah, because it is one of the only films, it's very rare that you that you can get a film like this where you can start playing it October 1st and you can continue playing it until the new year and it fits yes. the season. You know, it's, it's both seasons. It's it's you yeah. know it's it's Christmas. It's when, like you said, it's Halloween and it's Christmas. Mm-hmm. Uh, yeah, it's it's. I don't know. I don't know if there's anything else that really. I mean, you could say Krampus maybe, but even that is set yeah. directly at. You know. Uh, yeah, and, and the, like, um, and it's family friendly, so you can be playing it through the right. whole. You know, but right, um, it's family friendly. But yeah. and that, and so I'm curious about that too. Like I, 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 I there are. I, I I'm not sure. I believe Santa Claus makes an appearance in this. I can't. I, mm-hmm. I don't. This, these are things I basically kind of know offhand. But um, I love the idea that there's a song where it says this is Halloween. Mm-hmm. Isn't it? It's, there's a song in that, right? Mm-hmm. But at the same time, it's set around Christmas or has something to do with Christmas. I mean, the, the movie itself has both holidays present mm-hmm. in it. So yeah. it, it'll it, it'll all make sense. And it's, it, you know, it's, it's one of those things where it's like, ah, and, but, but it's funny. And you say the name of that song and all of a sudden just. This is Halloween. You, this is you can't stop singing it. Well, because you said that last hands. time, one yeah. of our earlier shows, we we, we, mm-hmm. we weren't trying to tip off our hand as far as what we were going to watch, and you just you just started singing it uh, yeah. by habit. And yeah, I was like, it, well, you just tipped over. <laughs> you can't you can't help but sing it. Yeah, it's it's well that and that's that's the thing. And like and you know, I, I yeah, I can't say anymore. I can't say more because I'm going to start getting into the <laughs> shit that we're going to talk about next week. So, yeah, we will. We will talk about that. And, and the It'll nice thing fun. is, is I've seen this movie a gajillion times. I'm still going to watch it this week, but I could I'm go without sure. watching it this week and still be able to have a complete conversation because I've seen this movie so many times. Yes. So, uh, yes, so yes, but I'm really, I'm looking, for, I'm, I'm looking forward to actually doing some, uh, some research too, like kind of mm-hmm. behind the scenes on how they made it. Cause I love, 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 love Leica studios. And I, wa- I watched mm-hmm. all their make behind the scenes, how they made their stuff, how they animated it. So I'm looking forward to watching that for this as well. Because this, yeah. this is years ago. This is, in, in the, you know, obviously early 90s when they did it. So mm-hmm. it's much more, you know, old school, harder methods to do it. Yeah. I, yeah, I like, I think, I honestly think it's one of the the best, um, I can't even, like, it's claymation. It's not really claymation. It's, it's mo- like, I don't even know what, I, I'm sure there's a, pro- a proper term for the style of animation they used. Um, but the, it's, it's like claymation. It's, it's, you know, right. and, and uh, I, I think it's one of the best of its style ever. And yeah. I think there's a reason it's classic. So I'm, I'm really anxious for you I, to see it and for us to talk about it. I, 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 yeah, I think that definitely helps contribute to his eight, the sense of agelessness to the mm-hmm. movie too, because mm-hmm. it doesn't seem dated in a way. Like, you know, if it's animated, you see all the animation seems older or what this seems almost ageless with the way that yeah. it was done. So, yeah. It's, yeah. it's. Yeah, it's a great movie. It's a great movie, in my opinion. And I hope, I hope, uh, sure, I, I, I cannot wait for you for you to see it so we can chat about it um, because it's a lot of fun. Yes, I, I hope I hope I like it too. Because if I don't, yes. if I'm like this movie, is, it, 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 this might literally end the podcast, <laughs> the friendship, the network, everything. It's well, I you know I I I I am able to recognize that you know it it won't hurt me too much. Um, we we won't be able to speak outside of the shows though. We'll have to just ever just coldly stare at each other. Ha, ha, ha.
Anyway, <laughs> which which, okay. which is which, which is also romantic, very romantic, but very romantic, uh, but, yes. but but like you know, hate stare. Anyway, um, e- e- so. even more romantic. That's that's a marriage. Uh, <laughs> <but yes. laughs> but, oh but, man, it's funny because it's true. Anyway, um, so <laughs> <laughs> again, how are you, Nate? How are you today? <laughs> I'm doing great. Yeah, good okay. answer. Good answer. So, She's right behind you. She's right behind you. Oh shit. Uh, hi, honey. <laughs> <laughs> Do you mean the vampire on the wall? No, I'm sorry. Um, oh, <laughs> <laughs> this went down hard. Oh yeah, this is. So, anyways, uh, so I think that wraps up this uh, this episode. Uh, so I, I think so too. Yes. So for those of you who are watching uh, on the stream, we will be back in a few minutes. We're going to do another. Be right back uh, because we just we just love doing that. We're going to take another quick break, and then we're going to come back and play some. Batman, what we haven't done in a little while. Um, and uh, and yeah, so join us for that. But for those of you who are watching the, the video or the um, or listening to the podcast, thank you so much for, for uh, joining us. Uh, be sure to check out our other stuff on the network. Ethan, is there anything else you would like to say before I wrap this puppy up? Yes, this is Halloween. This is Halloween. <laughs> Halloween, 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 Halloween. Okay, so do 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 do. Okay, um, I will uh, stop that now. And uh, so, thank you again, everybody, for joining us. And y'all have a wonderful day. I see. At Geek Insider, we foster relationships with those in the geek sphere, so we can give our audience the insider view of entertainment, tech. 